Hey guys, we're back, and uh, I'm. This is the first time I've ever done like a three-parter for you guys. So, um, I am officially got a little iPhone video for you. I hope it's not too annoying to watch. Where I did a little walk around, you would have just seen, um, or maybe before. I don't know. It depends when I'm going to do it. But um, I'm going to put it in where you can kind of see a walk around. I'm all. I've also done a little bit of a tip. Uh, and trick uh, section for getting that middle RGB fan working for you. If you if yours wasn't working out of the box like mine was, apparently it's like a big thing that's pretty common. Um, you can basically just uh, follow that video there and it's going to show you where to plug it into to get yourself some power to that middle RGB fan for you in your tower. Um, this last section, I am going to take a look at the software for you, the Lenovo software uh, for the Legion, so that uh, you can kind of get a feel for it. Um, every single one of the big providers and, and even some of the smaller ones have their own software. And I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what the Lenovo stuff looks like. It's pretty clean. I mean, it's nothing to write home about. It's nothing revolutionary, but it's a clean, easy to see dashboard that you can mess around with and uh, have a little fun with. Even if you're not very techy, it's super handy. Um, so I'm just going to do a picture in picture style for you. So I've got it down here um, the nice part about it let's make this a little smaller for you guys there you go um, so you got your front uh, splash screen here you got your SSD info mine's getting full up I got to get that extra SSD in there um, and then you've got uh, like your hardware scan your mobile uh, any system updates your power details you'll notice there's a little lighting section here so this is basically where you can go in, customize profiles, um, you can uh, set things to default, you get your profile, so you just got your little cycle here, so you can cycle through your internal ambient lighting, your CPU fan lighting on the front, you'll see it here, um, and then your CPU back, you'll see it here. These can have separate, which you'll see in my other video where I'm doing a little walk around on the iPhone. Um, the internal lighting, it's just, you'll notice it's the effect itself. Uh, you have the, the always on fast blink, slow blink breath, um, and then your brightness level of the interior. Now you will notice that the interior lighting does not note um, colors because it does not uh, appear to be RGB. It's just like an internal ambient lighting, which you'll see it runs along the top. I kind of gave a little snap of it in the previous shot there. Um, However, uh, the front icon, this is one of my little bit of a gripe with the actual product itself is you'll notice also that big, this is this icon here. Um, it is not um, RGB either. So it is just one size fits all. Um, it's always like a bluey kind of color, bluey white. You can turn it off, which is nice, but then it just kind of breaks up the, the look. It's a, it's a cool looking logo too. It would be nice if it was RGB. You got fast blink, slow blink, and breath. Um, mine appears to have a little bit of an issue with, I believe it's the slow blink. Yeah, slow blink is the issue. Basically, when you click slow blink, it just like goes on and then goes off. Uh, it's not like a slow fade or anything like that. It seems to be a little bit slower version of the fast blink. And then if I go breath, um, it's not actually breath. It's basically slow blink again. So, I mean, maybe that's something they'll fix in a, a future software update. But for the time being, breath is slow blink. There's no difference. Um, so I've just left it to always on. I've got it dull right now as, lo as low as the brightness goes. But it's still pretty bright. Honestly, it's got a, a high brightness to it. If it's something that bothers you, you can always just go in and pop it off right there, which is nice. Multiple profiles. So if you have kids or uh, spouses or whatever sharing, uh, multiple roommates sharing, you can have different lighting profiles if you really need to. Um, in through the front uh this fan right here. So there is two fans in the front here you would have seen in my video. And then there's two here. And honestly, the thing just pumps air. It's awesome. I have no complaints about it whatsoever, especially coming from what I came from. Uh, it's a huge difference. So you got all these different options here. You got your turn it off fully, static, flicker, breath, wave, spectrum, CPU, temperature, and rainbow. Um, I've just got it on rainbow by default. Uh, again, they can be two different colors. However, there is a couple settings that if you use them, um, you will have uh, auto sync between the two like for example like CPU temperature will auto sync them there's a couple other ones um, I'll get the details for exact for you know post them in the comments below but there's a few of these that don't let you do separate it just syncs them together kind of cool idea of CPU temperature you got some random which just kind of does this that and everything uh, and then at the back you get your rear fan lighting so pretty cool pretty basic stuff but nice and clean honestly I'll give this thing some props for just being a basic simple setup but it works right we go back um, outside of this you've got your info on the product itself uh, it's going to give you the type of the actual serial number and everything for the PC 
questions and answers on your machine and then here's the uh, the processor and everything hard drive or uh, sorry um yeah the storage itself uh your memory it's pretty solid honestly like i can't complain it's clean it's simple um they have on the other side here let me see if i can swap it up for you here um make it a little smaller for a sec let me just jump up there you go so there's your system update, hardware scan. It just kind of goes through smart performance. It can, you can subscribe to it if you want. But uh, kind of a cool, simple answer, quick and answers here for you. Uh, if we go up top, we go back here, um, you're gonna have uh, your network booster. I mean, people say it is what it is. Uh, you go in here, you can actually add applications. Uh, and what it'll do is supposed to basically give you a prioritization on your network, maximizing the speed for it. Um, I mean, I don't play any games where I really notice a huge difference on my network, but I mean, you can put them in there. One thing I will say is when you go to add here, what you wanna do, you'll notice not everything is in here. Um, there'll be certain uh, items that you're like, well, why isn't my game showing up? Like this list obviously isn't, there's a ton of things that aren't like games that are on here, right? So what it is, is in order to have it on this list, it's only showing you what's currently open. However, I don't currently have Overwatch open. I just did this to test. If you open the game and then come back to the screen and click add, it'll be in the list. And once you add it to the list, even when the game's closed, it'll still stay here. So if you're not seeing your games, that's why. You'll also notice there's no like browse here uh, to add games initially i was like huh this is confusing but that's basically what it is um it says here like one of five added so you can have up to five programs you put in there and it's as simple as clicking the x here to get rid of them so again pretty straightforward i haven't noticed a crazy difference i'm going to do some more testing on it see how it kind of feels but uh you know it's a little cool option and idea. Um, auto close is kind of a cool idea. A lot of things are just like little streamlining. So basically you can add apps here that you want to auto close when you launch a game. So if you're having issues with resources and performance, um, you can add apps here to make sure that it automatically closes. And then it just reminds you obviously to make sure you save your work because of course uh, it's going to close it out on you automatically even if you're not ready. So kind of cool if, you're, if you have somebody who has a habit of leaving things open and then complaining about it. I mean, with things for this computer unless you're getting pretty intense um even mine which is only like you know as you've heard 11 1200 range com canadian um it's fine i just leave a whole bunch of chrome windows open and everything and it's it's fine but if you really want to optimize things and you're finding some lag kind of cool to be able to add programs that are hogs into this to auto close for you um next up We've got our uh, quick settings and everything through here, Wi-Fi security. So basically with Wi-Fi security, when you go in there, you're gonna have your uh, threats that you can locate nearby. Uh, I don't have it on right now. I mean, I have my own antivirus, so it's fine there, but that's an option. The Dolby is kind of cool. You go in, um, you can actually customize things to automatically optimize um, your audio settings, uh, your microphone and all that. So you got everything through here. Your Dolby audio is gonna select the mode um, you desire for for everything so you can kind of click through and choose what you want your settings to set up as um, and then in below let me pop this down for you here again in below you've got your microphone your microphone volume all that kind of stuff so you know I mean again simple little things it's nothing super crazy or revolutionary but you know it's kind of cool to have the option to dig through you got your eye care strain mode you can change color temperatures and stuff through your display um, in through your power so there's a little vantage bar that appears in the bottom left you can enable it or disable it and basically what it does is it just leaves a little L in your your task bar your tray um, and when you open it it's got these quick launch icons to let you quickly manage things I mean you can you can add them disable them whatever you want i mean is what it is I, I i can honestly say i've never once used the little quick launch thing if i'm going to open the lenovo vantage system i just open the whole thing and and customize but again to each their own it gives you all different options uh, if we go back here um, you're going to notice over here you have your thermal mode right so they've always got question marks everywhere too which is great gives you different options here so you got your you can manage your overclock and everything which is kind of cool i mean uh they obviously if you're familiar with that you can just go handle it yourself with like afterburner or whatever um but if you want to go in here you can actually choose your power modes and whatnot make my cam a little smaller again here for you um and then you can also have it automatically switch to a performance mode when you launch uh games and switch back when you leave the game i mean again it feels almost like a little bit of a vibe. This is coming from like their um, background on laptops and whatnot. Cause I mean, generally power modes, I'm not running on battery on my, my desktop, but whatever. 
Quiet mode I found kind of interesting because even when I'm playing things at ultra, I, honestly, this thing is like whisper quiet. I don't hear it anyways. But if it's for some reason bugging you and you're super sensitive to that, here's an option for you. Mine is literally like right here. I can touch, I'm touching my tower right now and, and I don't notice it. But if it's really bothering you, um, you can throw quiet mode there. Obviously, that's going to affect performance and whatnot too. Um, you can enable your GPU overclocking in performance mode here. Go advanced. It gives you your warning here. And then you can still click proceed and set your offset. It doesn't allow anything too crazy, right? So it's just going to give you like kind of their default. Uh, this is like max at like a 30 megahertz increase. Uh, obviously MSI, <laughs> much different depending on what you want to do. But I'm guessing they just want to do it so it's all set safely. Uh, but again, simple. You got your support up through here. It manages everything. They have a little migration assistant if you're migrating things over. It is nice to just see a quick bunch of things at a glance. I mean, honestly... I can't complain. It's been good, uh, simple, you know, has a couple things that needs tweaked. Again, like I said, the software could be a little bit better for the RGB as far as um, uh, actually doing what it says. Like this, the, the breath does not work on the front uh, portion. Um, and a couple of them syncing the two fans together for, for that's fine. I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I think it's clean. I think it's smooth. It does what it needs to do. Um, it's nothing to write home about, but at the end of the day, it's fine. Um, I hope this helps out a little bit for you guys. So again, I appreciate you dropping by. I don't know how I'm going to cut this together. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit messy and I apologize in advance for it. I mean, as you guys know, I don't like to do a crazy amount of editing, A, because I suck at it, as you'll probably see, and B, I just would rather be off the cuff, straight from the heart for you guys and no bullshit. So, um, I'm going to edit a little bit because obviously I have to figure out adding into that uh, iPhone video and then I'm going to all for the walk around of the actual case itself um, and then I'm going to have that initial portion. This is my secondary portion. So thank you so much. I hope this helped out. I hope it saves you a few bucks. Um, actually, literally since I filmed the first two portions yesterday, uh, the website already has another uh, new PC up. Let me see if I still have it open here. Um, uh, pull this over for you guys. Literally already, there's another Tower 5i. This is what I was saying. I mean, obviously, I know this is an expensive one. So, of course, this isn't going to suit you if you're looking for a budget PC like the 1219 that we're looking at right now for mine. But, look, 2070 Super, you're getting into that i7-10700. Um, you know what I mean? Still a decent deal. You still get the stackable. Still qualifies for Rakuten. Uh, but keep an eye. Keep an eye on these. Because what you can get out of it is absolutely crazy. And you'll notice some of the stuff is kind of hilarious. Because, like, look, this guy here. You know, you have an HDD and then a 512 SSD. So I lose a 1 terabyte HDD. Who cares? You know what I mean? Um, you are you got an i7-10700 versus this one only has the i5-10400F. But whatever. Um... 16 gig as 2933 that you're exactly the same and look at the price difference here for the creator hilarious 1756 dollars 1219 they both have a 2060 unbelievable so obviously don't go blindly buying creators never seem to stack up the legion tower 5i is always where i've went this one here if you need some more intense graphics capabilities there you go you get your 2070 super uh but keep an eye this wasn't even there yesterday now that these have been unavailable temporarily i'm sure they'll get something in this more budget range coming shortly so keep an eye out don't forget the rakuten notice below there's no click my link get whatever make me some money this is literally what i just bought with my own money with my own research uh and i'm super happy with the purchase so i hope this helps you guys out if you like it feel free to like and subscribe to the video um and we'll talk again soon thanks so much for your time take care guys